official sponsor of No Love Lost, Monster Rings and Cages. If you want a ring, if you want a cage, go holler at Mike Samples because he's making the best in the world. Previously on SOM Live, the ETC had called out Al Dooley, claiming he was really Alex Monroe. And the match will happen tonight. A member of the ETC going to face Al Dooley. And then it was Luscious Lawrence attacking RT3. And the two of them will face off for the East Tennessee title tonight. And then from there last week, the beatdown happened. From the Devastation Incorporation to the Dooleys and to the SOM Heavyweight Champ. Move to PTSD, and there you see it, as they've done so many times before, attacking with that chain, leaving the SOM champ and the Dooleys in a heap. It may be Valentine's Day, but there's no hearts and flowers. This is SOM, no love lost. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to SOM Live, no love lost. Welcome to Chucky, Tennessee. You want to be a legend? Train like a legend. This is the home of WWE Hall of Famer and eight-time World Tag Team Champion, Ricky Morton, and it's the proving ground for the Hall of Famers of the future. This is School of Morton, come get some. I'm Corky McCorkle, along with my broadcast colleague, Chad Bartlett, the loaded gun. We got a big show coming up tonight, Chad Bartlett. There's the Colonel. And it looks like right now yes. we've got Oh, my hero! It's Bronson Garrett, the hillbilly heartthrob, coming out here with the Colonel Judas. You see that, Corky? He's holding the guitar. He does have the guitar. He has the guitar. Well, maybe he's here to play it. I'm going to go find out right now. God, I hope so. Oh, this is going to be big. A real superstar, ladies and gentlemen. The best in the business. We're lucky to have him here. Oh my God, I can't wait. All right, folks, Bronson Garrett, the hillbilly heartthrob, and the Colonel Judas. Now what's going on here? Is it time to debut the song, Don't Break My Heart? First of all, you don't have to worry about it. None of you worry about it. Because there's one thing about it. You're not going to see this man's face today, and I'll tell you why. Because you didn't pay enough to see this man's face. He's been selling out Las Vegas. We've been all over the road here lately. In Hollywood, his face is going to be everywhere, and you ain't paid enough to do it. And the other thing is, I'm saving all you men... I'm worried. I'm saving all you guys, to be honest with you. Because if he turns around, y'all going to have to go home and make your wives feel like women again. Because they're going to be thinking about him and th instead of thinking about you. But I'll let Bronson Garrett tell you what's going on from here to there. Let's do it. Bronson? Let me go ahead and give these men fair warning in here. The last time I showed my face on this television... It was women fainting all over the country. So I'm going to go ahead and give you a fair warning. Go ahead and turn the TVs off if you woman's in. Now I think that's long yeah. enough. I think that gave them fair warning now, Corky, because it was thousands of women nationwide last month turning themselves in, saying they were guilty of love in the first degree once they seen Bronson Garrett's face. Well, all right, now you've turned as you showed your face. Now you're going to show us your singing skills, your guitar playing skills. Let me tell you all about my singing and my guitar playing skills, Corky. You see, I was in Las Vegas on what was supposed to be a one-night show that turned into three. They asked me to take up residency in Las Vegas. They said, J-Lo? Who's that? <laughs> Celine Dion. Uh, they wanted me in Las Vegas permanently, but I felt like I would be humble enough to come. I'm about to sing you a song if you shut up. See? See, I thought I would come back to my roots. Here it is. Shut up. I 
thought I would come back to my roots and play a song, humble myself enough since I've been hanging out with Carrie Underwood. Y'all saw the picture. Jay. What are y'all even talking about? Y'all seen the pictures of me with Jason Aldean? Y'all seen them? Carrie Underwood. Keith Urban. And they said they were up. Who, who are you? You look like a fake Axl Rose. <laughs> How about you sit down before you get yourself hurt, dog? Sit down, dog. You see, all those names that I just now dropped are going to be opening acts on my Boats and Bros tour. Wait, they're opening for you? Yes, the Boats and Bros tour. Over a hundred dates, Corky. But what I'm about to do right now is play y'all the first lick off my new album, Boats and Bros. Don't break my heart. If y'all would shut up long enough for me to sing this song, I would sit and sing it. I'm gonna need y'all to make a little bit of noise for a start saying, come on now. Yeah. Yeah. You, know, you know what I ain't feeling tonight, Judy? The song will be premiered at a later date, Corky. These people ain't showing me enough for sweat to sing. And there still is enough money out here amongst all these rednecks. Well, he's not going to perform the song. Way to go. What do you say, folks? You all ready for some wrestling? You're ready to get some? Way to go. Let's get it on with our first match here.